I have this galvanized metal decor. It came from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to remove the jute hanger and start by priming the entire front side with some Wise Owl primer. Now this comes in clear, white, or gray, and it's great to do on metal before painting. I have this small box that also came from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to paint the entire thing using some Wise Owl Ivory. Once the primer on the mushroom had dried, I'm just going to clamp it down to this piece of wood. And I have these different size hole saw bits that go into my drill. And I'm going to use the smallest one and I'm going to drill a hole in the bottom center of my mushroom. These are pretty easy to work with. You just need a little pressure on the drill. Next, I'm going to take the Wise Owl Ivory and I'm going to paint the bottom part of my mushroom in the Wise Owl Ivory. You can give this two coats. And then I'm going to do the top with Wise Owl Republic Red. Now, of course, you could pick any colors of your choice. And I'm just going to make sure this is covered nicely. You can allow it to dry and then give it a second coat. Once everything was dry, I'm then going to go into the circles at the top of my mushroom and I'm going to dab in the color ivory. I have the word hello and I'm going to paint that in the Wise Owl Black. All paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And I got this little hello word from Hobby Lobby and it came in a pack of a few other words as well. Once everything was dry, I'm going to take my E6000 and put it on the top edges of my box that we painted, and I'm going to lay the mushroom down on top of that. Now, I do recommend using the E6000. It's an industrial strength glue. And I'm also going to place that on the hello and put the hello right above the hole that we drilled. Now I'm going to spray this with some Krylon Shortcuts top coat. It's a triple thick crystal clear glaze. You can also use the Wise Owl One Hour Enamel Clear or the Wise Owl Varnish. Once that had fully dried, I took my gilding wax. This is in the color Eternal. And I'm just going to place it on the embossed areas, which are the raised areas on the top part of the mushroom right around the ivory color and I put a little on the hello and then I just went around the border of the mushroom and put some there as well. Now the main reason why I picked the Krylon top coat is more it left a shiny effect which the enamel I had was a matte color. I have this rock that said sweet home and I put that in the bottom right of the mushroom and now I had screwed a screw eye hook in the top of my box. I'm stringing a piece of jute through and I have wood beads and I'm rotating in the color gold and red. And I did this until I was happy with the length and then I just put a little knot and a little loop at the top. Now I'm going to go back and the little hole on the mushroom where the jute hanger was I just filled that with a little bit of hot glue and then I'm going to dab a little bit of the Republic red over it and once that dried I then added a little white and I just made my own little mushroom design to hide that a little better now this was an afterthought if I thought about it sooner I probably would have done this after I painted the wood box or I would not have painted the wood box at all. But I have these moss sheets. It's a peel and stick sheet. They came from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to place them around my box to give it more of a finished look. And there you go. Now you have this really cute mushroom birdhouse hanger. I hope you enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.